supporters or just Survivor. You just you being there brings great oh. entertainment. Um, this one's a really good idea. This is just Sea Monkey Cam. Huh? So first off, Sea Monkey Cam. Should we have a Sea Monkey Cam on stream? <laughs> Say Sea Monkey Cam one more time. Sea Monkey Cam. <laughs> Bro. I like coffee, but I just wish it didn't make me shit so much. I mean, I can paint a bowl after one espresso. It's rough. All right, it's been brought to my attention, chat, that we have uh, the recycling of thumbnails on, on our highlight channel has become not a meme anymore, and it's been confusing some viewers into thinking they already clicked on a video. So we're going to be doing some thumbnails right now live out of necessity. Uh, we're going to do this right now because I need to. So I'm going to take suggestions from Chad. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh, well, hold on here. This is a surprise. Wait, wait, hold on now. Is this, is this our very first Sea Monkey Neon Ocean Zoo cam? Oh, well, well, hold on now. Boys, I think, <coughs> I think we should set this up then. I think that's fate. I think that's fate. Sea Monkey has my money. Booty, can I talk about the monkey joke or is that not even appropriate for twitch what if i made the sea monkeys with gamer subs instead do you think it would make them faster or would kill them faster i remember when i first got introduced to sea monkeys by my friend named sam this is way back in the day like like elementary school he said he had sea monkeys and of course little retard brain i'm like oh my god you have aquatic apes like little little finned gorillas right and so i go home with him and he shows me these little retarded shrimp and I was like, where's the fucking sea monkey? Uh, apparently this is it. Are they alive in here? Like they're just in some fucking bags. All right, let's read the instructions here. Step one, water purifier. We are going to skip step one. <laughs> Pour 10 ounces of, of, of water into any clean container, preferably a special sea monkey tank. So here's our special sea monkey tank. Open one water purifier pouch and let it sit for 24, 24 hours? I'll be dead in a day. I mean, here's the thing, you guys are telling me to come in it, but if at one point I come in it, you're, you're gonna know that I came in it. There's no going back. All right, let me go fill this up and put the water purification in. Give me a second, Jesus Christ. Do they like build little houses in there? I'm gonna be honest with you. I, got, I don't even remember really how sea monkeys work. Water purifiers going in. Okay, pouring the water purification in. I know you guys can't see it, but there's not really much to see. Okay, after waiting 24 hours, we gotta put the little idiots in. It can take three weeks for them to hatch? These guys don't know. They have no fucking clue. Look at his face real quick. Okay, this idiot has no clue. This guy has no clue that I am his god. And all he is is a fucking experiment. I'm just gonna watch him. I'm gonna, like, he has no, he has no concept of time. He has no concept of, of life or meaning or purpose. He's just a little packet of instant life I threw into a fucking, into a monkey glass. We'll have to wait 24 hours. So this was, uh, this is all you get now here. I'll show you the sea monkey cam. Damn. The progress is measured. So we have water. Stir it. I did stir it a little bit. Wubby, maybe you shouldn't come in the sea monkeys, but what if you let them come in you? I, I was trying to do some research on how smart cows were yesterday, and I couldn't come up with an answer. All right, someone in chat said it. I've been waiting. I just saw it fly by. What about sea monkey cam? Well, I have a story that's both unbelievable and, if you're a longtime viewer, probably believable. So first off, we have sea monkeys behind me, and they there's a little uh, aquarium thing, whatever, and we had to purify the water for 24 hours. So I purified the water for 24 hours, and then there were two packets. One of them was the sea monkey, and it's like this little paper packet. It's like this cheap little paper packet. And the other one is sea monkey food, and I had them right here on my desk. I do this thing in my room. You may call it depression. I call it mad min-maxing efficiency. What I do is I will let the trash build up until I go, huh, just like that. I go, huh, <laughs> and I throw it all out. I take a big old trash bag and I'll fill up the trash bag and then my room will have be trash. It'll be clean. I'm not saying I declutter my room, but like the cans and the cups, everything will be gone and we'll be back to not living in trash. Why is everyone saying murder? You don't stop. Yesterday evening, 
I come into my room and I sit down on my computer and I'm like, oh, I think I need to clean up the trash. Like it's time. I need to get the trash out of here. I go down to, to right here next to my computer on the ground here. And I see my uh, what, hydro flask just sitting there. And it has about this much liquid in it of three day old sun kissed and melted ice, just water, right? I go to look at it, <sighs> sunk to the bottom <laughs> of the disgusting sun kissed and water were two packets now crumpled and disgusting of sea monkey eggs and their food. And I, <laughs> and I just looked at it and stared and I started to think one, my whole audience is gonna be so mad that I let this fail. <laughs> just vacuum them, why don't you? Shut up! I think the water got through and they may have come to life in the package. They were born into pitch blackness where they slowly panicked due to overcrowding and died as quickly as they came to life. This all happened off stream. I didn't even know when the packets fell in at some point over the past day or so, the packets fell in and just been sitting there. Oh, they're still in there, by the way. I left them in there because I thought it was funny. I guess the end result of this chat is, I, 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 I guess I have to buy a new one. <laughs> fell in. Why would I choose to do this? This, if I was gonna make it fall in, wouldn't I do it while I'm live so I can have a big, this all happened privately in my room alone in the middle of the night. What the fuck, they're probably fine. You think they're, wait, should I just try doing it? If you're saying they're probably fine, I'll do it. I'm opening, oh, this thing is soaked. All right, here is the, <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried they're gonna be like more angry and more advanced now. So I'm just gonna, oh Jesus. Oh, there's clumps, there's clumps. Give them a chance. When do I feed them? Oh no, I just spilled the rest of, no. Oh my God, I just knocked over the cup. I knocked over the cup with the rest of the food. I need to clean this. Oh Jesus Christ, what is happening? No, I knocked over another cup. I'm gonna be honest with you, I, God wants these fuckers dead, dude. Okay, chat, listen, I don't have the instructions. When do I give them the food? Are they all just supposed to sit on the bottom? Chat, you witnessed a genocide? Oh, I just dropped the lid in and it's sinking. Oh my God, I can't do this. I really can't do this. Ah! I'm losing my mind. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Yeah, I, 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 I. <laughs> After watching this shit show, I hope you don't plan on having kids. Is the inside of the packet foil or paper? Mother of God, I've literally seen two epileptics share a bowl of noodles with more grace than the calamity God is bestowing on us right now. You have the parenting skills of a 16-year-old on prom night. Just throw them in a dumpster and don't tell your parents. The food is literally just more sea monkey eggs, so it seems like they live longer than they actually do. You're lying. Bro, why are we fucking around with human life here, dude? Why are we fucking around with human life? Or wait, they're not human. Genuine question, you good? Yeah, what's- Oh, there's an onion on my floor. Where did that come from? I can't even remember the last time I had a raw onion. You guys wanna see it? <clears throat> I can show you. Oh, I just spilled vodka. Man, okay. You know, people ask me if I'm good. I'm good, but I see I see what you mean today. Today's been today today hadn't been good, I guess. You I'm in a great mood, but aquarium. I can't hang, dude. Think <clears that's throat> well there it is. You hey, I have a question, chat. Um you guys you guys don't hate me, right? How are the sea monkeys? I'm glad you asked. In fact, I have big news about the sea monkeys that have been happily growing behind me. 
since putting them in there has been it's been 48 hours there has been absolutely no movement in the tank i believe they were all killed and massacred in the bag when i let them soak and sun kissed overnight accidentally let me triple check last i checked was a couple hours ago yep it appears i just uh 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 moved their graveyard to a more open container <laughs> um it's bleak it's i mean do you want me to grab it it's not looking cool shirt thanks i used to not be able to fit in this shirt so i got a bigger one so oh oh god oh a bunch of the water just spilled on me that's gross it's just it's basically death water see how there's that thin film on the bottom well that is um what is essentially a graveyard I was thinking about pouring food on top of them, but then I thought that's kind of fucked up if, you, if they're really dead. That's just like going and dumping Ritz crackers on grandma's grave. You know, I see one. Oh, wait. Oh my God, wait. There's like three alive. <gasps> there's a couple. Oh my God, there's a couple. What do I do? How do I, what do I do? I don't want them to die. What do I do? Chad, do I feed them? How do I feed them now? No food yet. No, no, don't feed them yet. Well, they have a lot of bodies they can eat. I, I think there are four swimming in there. I can't, no, I spilled buckets. I believe I count four. By my count, there are, there are four swimming around in there. Wow, I didn't even see those. Okay, this is exciting now. You're a father now? I'm also like a mega abortionist. Okay, low key though, I am thinking, I am, I'm starting to think maybe I should just kill off those four. Those four have a hero's tale and justification for killing me. You know what I mean? If this was a movie that was being documented, I am the bad guy and sea they monkeys are known to have orgies. You know, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, you don't call me a sea monkey then. Man, okay, let's just get into it. So first off, I have an update for the sea monkeys. The sea monkeys got pretty big. And I saw them the other day. In fact, I saw them yesterday. Saw? I saw them yesterday. And I noticed that they were big. And I didn't realize how big they got. I was actually super unimpressed with how tiny they were. And then I noticed the other day, they were getting kind of sizable. Like, you could see them, and they were kind of scary. So I'm sitting here, and I'm chilling, and I'm doing a Tarkov run, whatever. HP is in my room, and HP jumps up on the table, the table that's behind me. And there's a dice on the table that HP is, is batting around. He's having fun with. And I hear him start to get a little rowdy. So I look back and go, okay, I need to make sure he doesn't fuck with the sea monkeys. So I, I, he normally doesn't. He doesn't really fuck with liquid or anything. He's never really had that problem. But I turn, I hear a lot of noise. I turn back and he is frozen, paw in air at the sea monkeys. And I go, HP! And he, he runs and he hides. He knows he fucked up. HP is a very smart, retarded cat. He, he does stupid things to kill him, but he knows they're wrong. So I got, I stopped him. And, he, and, and if I get him good enough, he will be too scared to do anything, right? Because he knows the back of my hand coming for that little behind, right? Yeah, and, and maybe I'll break his paw if he's not careful, cut off the little pads. I'm like, all right, I need to keep my, and if I hear him jump back up on the table, I need to just kick him out of the room, right? Okay, so that's where we are. So I start playing Tarkov, and I would like to first say, this is not my fault, okay? And I, I'll also say this. I have a, a love for animals uh, that I have to kill. Now, let me be clear about that. My dad taught me to, when there's a spider in your home, let it out of your home, right? My dad's not even a vegetarian, but the act of killing a creature, my dad has always taught me don't do. Now, granted, I, I'll kill a spider, right if i have to i'm not that far but it is something instilled in me i'm playing tarkov and what ha anyone play tarkov in chat what happens an airdrop in my game have you ever played tarkov do you know what that means allow me to explain when there's an airdrop in your game the next 45 seconds you can't hear anything you just hear the sound of a plane overhead it is so loud well wubby just turn down your headset but i can't turn down my headset because i'm playing tarkov i'm listening for footsteps i'm hiding in dorms i'm doing my thing whatever i'm doing right there's no turning down i'm zoned in and for the next 38 minutes bro just a, just a die to a single buckshot through the eyes okay the point i'm making is i now can't hear anything towards the end of the sound of the of the airdrop i hear <laughs> a crash 
and the sound of whoosh, <laughs> I just instantly knew. I jump up. HP is already hiding by the door to escape because he knows he's fucked. And he's just hiding there. I turn around and, and I'm looking at the, the site now. Is it is a it's it's well, it's now a graveyard. It was a it was a genocide. This is gonna sound really dumb because I eat meat. I would I mean I I, I don't give a fuck. I enjoy consuming animal products. Yet looking at the water soaking into my carpet, I could see the movement of the sea monkeys in the carpet. And I didn't know what to do. But I didn't want them to suffer. <laughs> so I, I put a bunch of paper towels down. And I stepped on it with a shoe a bunch of times. <laughs> and then I vacuumed the whole thing. <laughs> I, I sucked up whatever was left. <laughs> Why am I the asshole? I didn't do it. You're saying another one, but I want you guys to seriously have a conversation with me. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to take little fucking pliers and, and one by one pluck the sea monkeys from their carpeted grave and try to rehabilitate them? It's not my fault. I was legitimately mortified. I, I was looking at like the carpet have little movement and I was like standing there staring going what the fuck do I do people don't understand that this was legitimately like this you was, sir this... are the grim reaper and the vacuum is your side <laughs> but it was HP why is this me how could this be considered me no I'm serious though chat how are you putting this one on me you should have let HP out in the first place oh Oh, oh, are we gonna pass the box to the intelligent creature? Hello, HP has control over his limbs. Oh my God, I just realized something. This is the second, st I forgot that the lizard started with HP too. Oh my God. I can't keep passing all my problems off on HP. <laughs> sea monkeys, also known as brine shrimp, can survive for long periods, they, years in a dehydrated state. The last thing those poor sea monkeys saw was the vacuum sucking them up to their final resting place. Yeah, but moments before that, they saw a giant cat god creature just annihilating their civilization. Also, that's not even true that that's the last thing they saw, because I'm pretty sure I killed them when I put uh, paper towels down and stepped on their watery grave a bunch of times. Uh, to be honest, the step was to try to dry them out and kill them, and then the vacuum was to get rid of everything so I didn't have to see it. I'm not lying to you. This traumatized me. I know some of you have been through what you would consider trauma, but this this was this is this is now the second time in a year I had to vacuum up a creature. <laughs> Holy shit! Between the lizard and the sea monkeys, this just shows that the only animal this man should care for is a cat because they take care of themselves. <laughs> they are still alive in the vacuum, you fool. No, God, what how do well, I need to kill them then? I'm, I'm serious at this point chat at this point if they're alive they need to die because if they survive this I mean I have this is seriously a John Wick situation you know you guys have impacted my life in great ways but you've also impacted my life in a way that when this was happening all that I was thinking about was no no they're gonna make fun of me my chat's gonna know and they're gonna make fun of me I'm not gonna lie they lasted way longer than I thought they were gonna <laughs> That's mean. What do you mean? They're in the vacuum living off your skin cells and dust. They're getting a taste for your flesh. Y'all are goofy, dude. Well, I'll have you know the maids came today and they used that vacuum and I didn't even warn them. And that's the second was dead animal. Was it also animal. HP who played with a dead mouse when your mom was watching them? <laughs> I forgot about that. That's so weird that you remembered that.